Hello, friends. This is what we like to refer to as Industry Insights, part of the Remy Network, and I'll encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the show and uh, hit notify if you have the option to do that wherever you are listening to the show because uh, we update this channel regularly with all kinds of great information, amazing guests, and the experts who make a difference to property management, condo management, and uh, the apartment industry overall right here in Canada. Uh, today, we're going to touch on uh, a bit of technology from the access and security world. And uh, when we do that, often we head to our friend, Preston Gritzmacher. Hey, Preston, uh, from Salto Systems. Mike, thank you again for having me here. Always a pleasure. Enjoy our chats. Uh, this will be great. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, I often come off now like uh, an expert in the field, thanks to you. I, I drop sound bites and, uh, and act very important around people. Uh, listen, I, I appreciate you joining us today because uh, what I love about what we're talking about today is it's taking technology to a place that's highly accessible uh, in the realm of condo management, uh, certainly in the condo board realm, uh, budgets are always a concern. And suddenly there's been an upgrade to access that is really affordable. Yeah, there's just no doubt about it. So uh, condo properties throughout Canada have been choosing Salto for access control, taking your phone and tapping doors, key fobs and key cards. Like this is, we're, there's nothing new uh, to the market here. And we've had a lot of success with that. So residents have had a great experience getting into their homes throughout Canada. Right? There's no doubting it. But there's one experience that we haven't had in our portfolio that hasn't been so easy, which is not just residents are walking in the building, not just staff, not just regular users are coming to the building. There's also a lot of visitors, right? Yeah. Whether that's uh, the pizza delivery guy Amazon or goes to my place. Friend. Amazon's at my door eight times a day. <laughs> I'm married too. So yeah, no, I hear you. It's uh, people need to get in and we need to have a great way to let people get in. In condo buildings, there are many are stuck in this position where when their building was built, the most accessible product was chosen. The easiest product for the general contract. That doesn't mean it was the best product. doesn't mean it delivered the best experience. And so I see it, this is no way rare. I see it all the time where you walk up to a building and it has an entry panel and it's this big stainless steel box with a telephone mm -hmm. button on it and uh, and then a, a, you know a, an eight character display, right? A guest might walk up to these legacy systems and click down, 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 down until they find the right resident they want to call. With those legacy systems, the, the guest calls the, the resident and your cell phone rings and you put seven on your phone to buzz them in. Like these are... I don't think that for most people that are millennials or older, like these are experiences that we've just grown up with and accepted. But mm -hmm. These aren't experiences that residents want, and they're not certainly not experiences that guests want. So, where do we go today, right? Um, that's where Salto's latest platform, xs 4 com really kind of steps up the game. Well, properties are already enjoying uh, access control from Salto. Uh, with key fobs and key cards and mobile experiences, it's an extremely simple bulb on. So simply you say, what is it? Oh man, it's not a huge uh, video entry panel that uh, might have some uh, uh, price tags associated with installation or materials. Yeah, yeah. Instead, it's something simpler, my friend. It's right here the whole time. You didn't even notice. It's our xs 4 com iGo sticker. And this takes the functionality of, of high-end video intercom systems that removes the hardware requirement. Uh, I know uh, we chatted a little bit earlier to you about this, but people seeing is believing and, and understanding the experience is one of the most important things. So how does it work, you say? Well, my gosh, I'm so glad you asked, right? Uh, a guest walks up, they open up their phone. Uh, it could be a friend visiting you. My, uh, uh, hopefully we're friends here, Mike, and you live in the building and I'm your guest and I'm walking up. I walk up to the main entry of the building. I walk up to that QR code. When I scan the QR code, the building's directory will pop up on my phone. Me, the guest, now can scroll through the, uh, the building's directory, choose who I want to call, and now you and your phone ring, and now we can have a FaceTime-like experience. The guest using nothing more than their phone in a browser, and the resident using their XS4 Com app. You can buzz me in, you can reject me, you can talk to me, you can see me, you can share your camera. We have a great experience. Wait a second. 
I, there's two-way communication with this. There's two-way. And it's not just two-way me to you. It could be me to you over voice where uh, the resident can see the guest video, but the resident doesn't share their video and they only talk. Or maybe the resident also wants to share their video. So, so this video to work. video or video to audio. So this would work. No, Amazon guy, please return to sender. <laughs> now, you know what? You That works perfectly. Or you could just hit the red decline button and just not even talk to him. I do like the sound of this technology. Right. So and the best part about this is it makes things accessible. Lots of legacy systems that are still in use today might even require a POTS line, a traditional dial-up kind of phone line. Uh, I'm hearing it increasingly common that telecom providers aren't even supplying these old analog voice lines. They're using, you guys, come on, we're in the, you know, it's 2025. We, we, we use uh, the internet for everything, right? right? We don't use analog systems. So um, many of these properties are stuck with legacy systems that have old infrastructure that can't be updated, don't provide experiences. Well, one choice, is instead of uh, uh, putting in a spendy new system that doesn't necessarily work with your access control platform, is sticking on a fancy sticker onto the front of your building. This makes it so much more accessible. It, it does sound a little bit maintenance-free, that sticker. <laughs> I'd say it's certainly a lot less maintenance, my friend. And unless technology moves past cell phones, this is going to work for a long time. How do uh, how do I make this part of my existing system, or does this have to be something completely new? Oh, wonderful! It could be something completely new. Of course, we welcome that, but it could also be bolted onto your existing Salto system. What that means is, uh, when the guest scans the QR code and the resident hits open or accept, Access 4Com tells the Salto, "Hey, open your front door." That's great. Fra frankly, it sounds like a selling point when you're marketing. Um, a, a condo. It sounds like um, uh, an extra feature yeah. that the building has that makes it more resaleable, that you have this, you know, high-end technology that is right there on everybody's phone. That does sound appealing. But it even could go further, right? How could it go further? You say, oh, that's wonderful. Well, How can it I go mean, further, Preston? Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, my great question. Think of all the small apartment buildings that are out there that are four units or eight units. They might not even have an access control system, let alone Salto. They, they might still be using mechanical keys. And while I'd love to talk about solutions that get rid of mechanical keys, not every property is ready to do that. And those properties still might want to have some sort of guest experience. Well, with access 4 com with absolutely no hardware, no Salto products, no strikes, no nothing, no installation, essentially, they could stick the QR code on the front door. A guest walks up initiates a two-way conversation with their friend. The friend says, hey, Mike, thanks for joining us. I'm so glad you're at the front door. I'm gonna run down and let you in. That's a way better experience than the, than the guest knocking on the door, like hoping that you hear through your apartment window kind of thing. So we can take this in any direction that we wanna take it, right? We want uh, the, the QR code to become your video intercom that releases a door, or we want something that's just so simple that it just, empowers a resident to make the choice whether or not they go downstairs and let the guest in. It is a great solution at all tiers of use, whether you've got installed yeah. systems, thinking about doing something new, or even just in a position where you need to elevate that, that visitor and guest experience. Cool technology. I'm glad this time we're only talking about stickers because, you know, uh, the other day somebody tried to talk to me about algorithms and I passed out. Yeah. <laughs> stickers so. are a little easier. Well, thank you. I really do appreciate this. Uh, Preston Gretzmacher from Salto Systems. People need to find out more. Where can they do that? Our website is the best place, saltosystems.ca. Or find me on LinkedIn. We're pretty easy to get a hold of. Thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate talking to you, man. No, thank you, man. Thank you for having me again. This is great. Take care, my friend. Thank you for joining us. This is Industry Insights. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this with a friend if you don't mind. And we'll, we'll see you next time.